Okay, this is old Kim. And this is not a spring chicken today. We're going to be talking about censorship. Yeah. And this is one of those things that typically, wait a minute, you, you hear about it in countries where you say that they're communists and they don't let people have access to content. Yeah. Or you hear about it in schools where they say the kids should be able to read these books. And then they, uh, they give you a list that they can't read at the same time. I know that over on my side of Facebook, they have been, I, I love it, they're, they're, some of the people are wanting to sponsor a constitutional amendment to restrict freedom of speech so that freedom of speech will be guaranteed. Ooh, I've heard it from companies that would like to promote their companies and they're saying, well, if they want to work with some of the advertising companies, it will cost $8,000. Yeah. And basically, a lot of it has to do with, well, let's just put it this way. If a company is going to advertise yeah. in a publication, they might call more attention to it. And sometimes advertisers will, you know, just like on the Super Bowl, you can buy product from placement. Yeah. Right? The more money you're willing to spend, the more placement you can get. Mm -hmm. Same thing within grocery stores, restaurants. I mean, my mother used to make certain that, the, you know, the, the checkout stand had the premium price product for up by the register. Well, and they pay for that. Yep. Because the business is a business and they still have to run. But one of the places that people don't think about it being is where? On the internet? Yeah, on the internet. It's all over the internet, folks. I mean, you got to, you know, for instance, if you're a big advertiser, you can have an internet publication take down competing advertisements. They say they're not doing it, but unfortunately, we've got evidence this week that uh, advertisers are being allowed to cherry pick uh, material on websites, you know, that and then have those videos removed without digital rights management problems. Oh, really? Yeah. What happens is some of the companies have major sponsors, and those major sponsors are now, uh, they're in their contract, they're given the right to remove uh, products or, or, you know, or spots for, their, for other companies that are in competition with them, and uh, they, don't, they don't have to get, um, <clears throat> make any statement as to why they're doing it. They're just flat out given the rights to pull the stuff, isn't that something? Which, I, which is wrong, it's called censorship. But, well, see, part of it is most people don't think that that happens. I mean, you go to events sometimes and you'll have a, um, let's say, a, a liquor sponsor, and there's only one main liquor sponsor. Yeah. Well, people understand that because they'll say, this is our liquor sponsor. Yeah. Right? But you don't think that that happens in other places where you think you have more freedom. Yeah. <laughs> In some places, you have more freedom in a Soviet country than you do in the United States anymore. Yeah, well, I mean, they give you the pretense that you have freedoms in in, in Soviet and uh, and in socialist countries, where actually you don't. But I mean, here they don't even give you the pretense anymore. I mean, well, I think some, for some people it's kind of a rude awakening because you don't realize um, what they can and can't do. Yeah, well, they well, take... See, they, can, they can do it, but it may not go anywhere. Yeah, well, the problem is is they take, for instance, if, you're, for instance, if you pay for placement in an in a, a online magazine, you know, and uh, all of a sudden somebody has uh, a bigger, uh, bigger part of your company than the other people, and they can just simply, you know, well, we're going to shut your publication down unless you change this. That's right. That's what's going on now. I mean, people, you're no longer able, for instance, to even pull your advertising without somebody complaining about it, which is censorship also. But, what do you mean? Well, no, I mean, like, uh, uh, like look, for instance, they got a thing on cable television now, and uh, most of the sponsors pulled their advertisement in November, but Lowell waited until December to pull it, giving them a fa fair chance. So. They're not after the other 30 companies that pulled, they're just after Lowell's for pulling its advertisements. Because they were, uh, they, they said they had it pointed out by a, a pressure group that this was not exactly an American type thing you should be sponsoring. So if everybody else pulled, then there was no reason to get on Lowell's, but Lowell's is not union in a lot of places. So you can guess why they're being pressured. Oh, so then they're getting more pressure because they're not, uh, Yeah. see? 
So sometimes when you see those headlines, you know, what happens or doesn't happen is sometimes resulting in who they're connected to. I know. See, but uh, pressure, forcing people to pull advertisements, threatening to sue people unless they put advertisements. You know, if you don't sponsor this, we're going to shut your business down. It's all... Is that like threatening people that they can't fire people? That's right. You know, you can't fire them, you know. Uh, if you fire them, we'll picket the business or we'll get your advertisers to shut down. But, I mean, it, it's prevalent all over the Internet. It's, it's, the, it's less prevalent in hard fact publications than on network news, on the, on the mainstream media. But on the Internet, uh, they can hit your server, you know. Uh, you know, the company that basically puts your website on the air, they can threaten them and you're gone. They can have somebody from some fringe organization threaten you and you're gone. So, I mean, I, I mean, I know people, for instance, uh, that are having their music video, we were talking about it before, they're having their music videos removed uh, with no no justification. But that, well, you got 10 days to go to court. Well, most people with the music videos can't go to court, so... Um, you basically end up with your thing removed. They also said there are... You have 10 days to go to court. That's not that many. They know. Do you yeah. know how hard it is to get a court date? Well, you can't do it. Plus, you can't afford the thousands of dollars it takes for the video. Uh, and all, and all it takes is a third party. It doesn't take anybody involved other than a third party to do it. So, so I mean, uh, right now I know that um, video... Mu well, we've had it. We've had uh, all the major music operations in the country have basically ordered music that we've written to be taken off. Oh, we've that, written. Oh, oh, that we've written? That we've written. Oh, that's always good. And they, uh, they won't even put, you know, the, if we put music behind anything now, it doesn't go up. So we've also been, you know, threatened with that. You know, uh, some of the companies are really well known, you know, that you go to a news event, or we had uh, 14 videos pulled from the 2010 auto show. Mm -hmm. because they had music in the background. Mm -hmm. The music was paid for by the companies doing the thing. I did notice there wasn't as much music this year in the background of the... You did notice that. Me yeah. too. That's right. They, uh, you know, they had their... All, a lot of them had their clock, but I think that's basically supplied by the by the auto show. Uh, but the still, uh, there wasn't... You didn't hear the musicians coming out and playing music? Because the musicians are more than likely, I mean, they've had, you know, they come out and hire a band to come out and perform, you know, See, to get here's people. here's the sad part, they're almost killing their own industry well, by doing that, they're climbing down so much. They have to because it doesn't take, like I said, all you had to do was to be a musician that was on the, uh, and went ding, 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 you know, which is basically one, one piano key, ding, 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 and then they, uh, well, well, I mean, like, for instance, uh, Anthony Newley wrote, Dum dee da dum da 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 dum dee da dum dee da dee dum dee da dum dee da da dum dee da dum dee da da dum dee dee. But see, here's the repercussion: is because they have that, it's been screwing up the company. Then the company they'll stop using stuff. They'll cut back. It costs people jobs, but it it we're the most litigious company country in the world. I mean, we are are okay. The problem comes is like they said the. The, uh, the lawyers own the Democratic Party, the trial lawyers. The other lawyers get, uh, if you're a defense lawyer, you, you know, if you're, a public, if you're a public defender, you get screwed. Only the trial lawyers get their say when it comes to any of this stuff. And they want, you know, the more litigation that they can get, the happier they are. That's why the court system is jammed up. But, uh, I mean, we can't afford, uh, you know, we've had to put up videos with the music totally gone. It's so, like, one of the reasons why... We can't do justice to the Rose Parade anymore because you can't, you no longer can cover the bands. You can't, you can't really do anything on the videos out at the parades now. If you, the, the parade isn't right unless you have some of the marching bands with music coming by. Yeah. So, but, um, you know, so we got, we got hit heavily by that stuff. It's not like you're selling any of the stuff. It's called news. But the, the, what happens is, the, I like this, the, uh, you can't do an award show because if uh, you do, you show more than 30 seconds. You have, I think two minutes of the entire program.